The world's hardest engineering problem is to understand what's happening in climate. You have so many competing effects from clouds, from sea ice, from aerosols, all of these interacting on many scales. The basic idea of climate change is actually more than one century old, uh, but the, the devil is in the detail. You know, until the 1980s, uh, it was not sure that if you had the car that used too much gasoline, you, you were hurting the planet. Now a lot of people think in those terms. About one third of the carbon that's been put in by fossil fuel burning uh, since the beginning of the industrial age has gone into the ocean. The oxygen is decreasing, decreasing faster than expected, and the acidity is rising, and this means it's becoming a more and more hostile environment for sea life. This is the, the fundamental problem. It's a big planet, but actually things that happen at, at small scale are very important. If you connect warming to sea level, sea level rise, for example, the question boils down to how quickly can you melt Antarctica and, and Greenland. People often ask me, why study glaciers in Abu Dhabi? When glaciers melt in Greenland or Antarctica, it raises the sea level, and that information arrives in Abu Dhabi about a week later. It's a global problem with global connections. There is no correct place to study this. And in particular, cities like Abu Dhabi, which are so at sea level, will be uh, greatly affected by this. The oil age will not end because we're going to run out of oil. It's because probably there's going to be technological innovations or cultural changes that will make people, uh, you know, change, shift from the use of oil to some other kind of, uh, some other form of energy. Climate science here on Earth and, and atmospheric modeling that we do on extraterrestrial planets is incredibly similar. So with the UAE going to Mars, we're thinking that it might be time to utilize uh, our expertise in, in extrasolar planets together with our expertise in climate modeling and, and model not the, the climate of, of Earth, but the climate of Mars. You have to do science because you find it inter interesting, exciting, you love it. In the same way an artist does art, and it's an added bonus if you feel you could do some work which could help society around the world, not necessarily your own country, but all countries. <laughs>